Hey guys, what's up? No, I'm Man13 here, bringing you episode 3 of Crazy Class. This class was recommended to me by the Polish Hunter. Um, yeah. WA2000 silenced, or suppressed, I guess. Uh, Hardline, Sleight of Hand, and I'm pretty sure it was Tactical Mask. I don't know, and then I had ASP Dual Wield, uh, Tomahawks, Concussions. Claymores. He actually didn't put any equipment. Whatever. And then the kill streaks were UAV. Uh, what's it called? What are those things called? I forgot. Sam turrets. Sam turrets. That's what they are. And dogs. Um. So. Yeah, I don't really know why we, you would want to use this weapon suppressed. I actually don't think it's half bad. Unsilenced or unsuppressed. Whatever. I think I'm pretty sure it's suppressed. I don't, know, I don't know why, I just like it, unsuppressed. Um, yeah. Sorry this commentary isn't so good so far. Um, oh, Ninja, that's my third perk, is Ninja. Anyway, so, yeah, this is a, in a raid. Look at that Tomahawk. Bam! Array domination, I mean, oh, array domination, god. Array team deathmatch. Um, and I'm just playing it pretty defensively, actually. Um, I had a different game before this that I was going to upload, it, and then this was the second game. It was also on Array, and I was going to upload it because it was like 26 and 6, I think, the score, but I got like, I don't know, uh, probably around 6, maybe. 6 kills on AFK guys, because there were 2 AFK guys, and so... I was I would run around the map looking for people and then the spawns ended up switching and so everybody all like the normal players were on the other side of the map and of course this map is huge and it was, there was only four guys on their team anyway so maybe there's five and it doesn't matter but and then so I would find those two AFK guys and just get headshots on them so that didn't really seem too entertaining that was actually a pretty nice shot if I do say so myself anyway so yeah any anyway strategies if you want to use this as I was saying before um, go for headshots and upper body because headshots are one-shot kills I don't think upper body or maybe upper chest is I know the neck is I'm not 100% sure on the upper body um, but definitely go for headshots that is how, how you're gonna get one hit kills and you'll see there I'm going for a lot of headshots and yeah so the final score of this game is 20 was it 20 I think it's 26 and 10 or 23 and 10 and so it's a fairly decent score. Um, I don't get dogs, so all those kills were from the class itself. Um, as you can see, my aim was horrible in this game, just from there. I don't know why, but even when I use this unsuppressed, my aim is horrible with this weapon. I have no clue why either, but what can you do? Um, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, I have a question for you guys later, but um, I just want to say that I just prestiged uh, again. Sorry, I know this one, this crazy class. I don't know why I kind of slacked on it. I do have another topic for one of those a uh, Black Ops commentary things, um, and I think it's a topic that I've addressed in another commentary, but not not a lot of people responded to it. Um, so look forward to that. And what else is coming up? I'm gonna try to do some new stuff. I'm gonna try to just get like normal gameplay. Um, Please leave in the comments right now, what would you like to see out of Black Ops, or any game, really? Like, because I really need this. Um, I really want to do what you guys want to do, and what you guys will enjoy, because out of all the commentators that I watch, they all do things that the fans enjoy, so they keep doing them. And if they don't enjoy it, then they stop doing them, so, I don't know, I don't really want to... And, like, some of the series that I've done before, like, one or two people have commented saying they like them. And that's not enough for me to continue it, so, yeah, so comment, <clears throat> excuse me, comment on what you want to see with Black Ops or any game, if you want to see more, of, like, Crazy Class, or I could, uh, do one of those random class generators, that website, if you want me to do that, I could do live commentaries doing that, just copy Mr. Phantasmo, um, yeah, um, oh yeah, I, um, yeah, so I just prestige anyway. Um, I'm now 7th prestige. I'm out of the cauliflower prestige, as I called it. 
which is that one with the two fists, and I hated that prestige emblem, rather. I don't know why, I just think it looks stupid, but anyway, so I'm in this prestige. I like this prestige emblem, but I'm gonna go all the way to 15th, I think, because this would be the only Call of Duty game that I've ever gotten to 15th prestige on, and so that'd be pretty sweet. Oh, and also, for this, I wanted to record my high uh, roller wager match and like record live commentary over it, but I was so stupid that I, fr I prestiged before the map was locked in because I was just like, um, yeah, I might as well just prestige now, you know, because I, I forgot that you had to wait, and so it was like, you have insufficient funds and you've been kicked from the thing or whatever, I'm like, oh, dang it, so I couldn't do that, so that got me really mad, but then later, when, uh, after that I played Search and Destroy, and after the second game of Search and Destroy, it's like, oh, you've been refunded 10,000 COD points, so that was pretty sweet how I got the 10,000 that I wasted. So that was pretty good and helped me bought some stuff. It's bad. Cop points in the beginning of uh, prestiges really help out a lot. So it's good if you can do that uh, wager match thing. And if you don't know what that is, you go into a wager match and you wait until the map is locked in. Look at this guy, sneaky beaver. You wait until the map vote is locked in. And that's when the giant um, icon of the map pops up in the bottom left corner. And it'll show like, like it'll, and I guess that's basically what all I need. And then you prestige because it already took your COD points at that time and then if you win you'll get a maximum of 25,000 uh, COD points I don't know why it glitches out and loses 5,000 but it does so you'll get um, so you get 25,000 if you win and 18,000 if you come in third and 12,000 if you come in third alright did I say third for I meant you get 18,000 if you come in second and then 12,000 if you come in third and any COD points at that early of a level is really great because of all this like you can just buy like mp5k rapid fire or like the perks that you want and so that's, it's a good idea to do that even if you're not good at uh, wager matches because you're gonna lose the money anyway so you might as well just try um, oh and this game's coming down to a close so uh, the other question I wanted to ask also along with what do you guys want to see and I really want to see a lot of comments on this video I would really appreciate it um, the other question was I've, I've, I've actually asked this question before, but what is your favorite Call of Duty? Um, right now, Black Ops is pretty frustrating for me, and I don't know. I really don't know how to answer that question. I want to say Call of Duty 4, because that got me started with everything, but I don't know. When I think back about it, I was so bad back then, and I didn't have any clue, and if I did have a clue, I would have gotten... I wouldn't have gotten... I would not have gotten as frustrated as I have now, but I would have gotten more frustrated than I did. And same with World at War. Um, so I have to say, Modern Warfare 2 is right now. Look at this, J Montage on the AFK guy. I have to say um, that Modern Warfare 2 is probably... Uh, if, they, if there wasn't any of those noob tours, and there isn't any more if you play Modern Warfare 2, there's like barely any. But it's just, uh, I think it's just really fun to play. I don't know, I was just say that Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite right now. Give your two cents about it. And yeah, final score is 23 and 10. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.